sometime around midnight. Former journalist Mikhail Jolet used music as his medicine to deal with the 2006 week from hell. When his girlfriend left him, his mom got cancer, and he discovered he had some health problems of his own. He took up songwriting and guitar playing and formed the Airborne Toxic event, whose gloomy name comes from literature. It's a section of a novel by this guy named Don DeLillo, who wrote this book called White Noise. This guy gets exposed to this big cloud of chemicals, and that's called the Airborne Toxic event. We don't think it matters that much what you name something, because after a while you start to inhabit it. Like, what the hell is a smashing pumpkin? I'm not trying to bag a smashing pumpkin. <laughs> Sarcasm and sadness are mixed with surprisingly uplifting songs on the band's self-titled debut. The dark yet rousing single Sometime Around Midnight is about spotting a woman at a bar and losing her to the night. In rock, there's a lot of posturing. You gotta stand up and look cool and you want to be the hero all the time, but that's not how life really plays out. And I think that's probably why people like um, have his fine, but I don't know for sure. It might just be Stephen's hair. It's safe to say that the band does have a decidedly uniform, non-indie rock look. We made a decision to only wear black and white. There's a certain indie rock aesthetic. You know, you wear your t-shirt that you wash once a month, and you have a flat in Williamsburg, and you have your little keys on your belt, and you stand there in your little shirt and pretend not to like your music and stare at the floor. Indie rock shows, there's a whiff of Prozac in the air at all times. That's definitely something we very much actively didn't want. Can't say we blame them. The Airborne Toxic event is in stores now. For more on the band, a new ought to know artist on the rise, go to vh1.com.